so there is there is the uh boring conventional part to the seo where you just research keywords that people are searching for you look at your competitors and what is bringing traffic to them but then you need to first create all this content and uh, we also have this framework uh, that content should be created by uh, the most knowledgeable person on your team and oftentimes content is being created by some cheap writers <laughs> and then the marketing leaders are wondering why our content is not getting picked up by Google because people who created it are not experts about the things that they're writing about. So in the early days of Ahrefs, I have created quite quite a bit of content myself and they still do occasionally uh, write something for the blog where I feel that uh, I'm the best person to, to cover this topic or, or I have some unique ideas to share. Uh, so that's the first thing, as simple as that. Uh, the most knowledgeable people on your team should be creating content, the, 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 the best, the biggest experts. And the second, the second thing what helped us is um, thought leadership. We were publishing quite a few uh, data research studies uh, where we would study uh, the impact of links on rankings or the mm. study of on-page factors. Or, for example, one of the most linked studies that we have on our blog is how long does it take to rank in Google? So a lot of people are wondering how long does it take to rank in Google, but Absolutely. we actually had enough data to study this. Uh, and a lot of people, people are still linking to this article. So thought leadership, it, it helps you get notoriety and links and reputation. So it mm. is not enough to just publish the same content as everyone else. You also need to build a reputation for yourself that you are a credible source and that you have something unique to say. And those kinds of data studies using the proprietary data that your business has access to, uh, they are a great way to do this. And we can dig deeper into how to do this because people would think that Ahrefs is sitting on a pile of data. This is why they can do all those studies. 